In this video, I'm gonna share with you the pros and cons of buying a pre-sale condo here in Mexico. I'm also gonna share with you the steps of buying a pre-sale condo in Mexico and some of the documents you need to review in the process. So let's get started. But before we get started, I wanna let you know, I did write a blog about it if you wanna check that out. It's available on my website. So let's talk about the pros first. Typically when you buy a pre-sale, you get a lower price. Uh, sometimes you get a friends and family discounts and things like that. You also get customization options. You can choose sometimes the finishes. Sometimes you can choose exactly which apartment you want and other options. You also have the greatest potential for appreciation. Since you're buying early, um, the buyers that buy later on, they may have a pay a higher price than you did. There's also great, greater payment flexibility. Developers will sometimes offer different payment plans uh, because you're buying further in advance. And also since it's new construction, you typically get the best amenities, uh, the highest tech, everything. So let's talk about the cons. Sometimes there's construction delays and other things you can't avoid. Sometimes there's uncertain quality. Maybe what they promised you isn't what they deliver. There's also market fluctuations, even things like the dollar being lower or higher uh, if you're buying with dollars and things like that. There's also the risk of developer insolvency, so it's always important to work with a highly reputable developer. There's also a limited resale market, uh, typically because you won't be able to get your documents in order until after it's built. So that leads us directly into steps to buying a pre-sale condo in Mexico, along with the documents you need to review in each step of the process. So let's start with research and due diligence. This is just when you're looking for location, developer, everything. So once you pick a property and developer, this is where you're going to check for title, you can check for land registration, um, uh, development plans, environmental impact documents, developers track record, any kind of condo association things you may need to know. The fun stuff, of course. Once you do that, you can secure your financing, whether that's payment plans to the developer or any other things you need to accommodate. So keep in mind, some developers do require down payment, some require monthly plans, some of them yearly, some of them quarterly. Each ones have their own rules and restrictions. Next, we're moving to review contracts. Uh, this is where you're gonna review your pre-sale contract, your finalize your payment schedule. You'll also review your construction timeline, warranty terms, cancellation, refund policy, and any other additional clauses that may be in your contract. Once you've done that, now you've officially reserved your unit. Now you just sit back and wait. Just kidding. This is where you monitor the construction. Typically, a developer will send updates on how construction is going. All right, next we're moving to final inspection. This is when everything is done. This is when you'll get a final inspection report, a uh, completion certification, and warranty documents, and everything like that. And next we're moving to the closing process. This is where you're going to review your final sales contract. Uh, make sure you have your transfer deed, make sure you've finished, finished off any final payments, closing costs, tax payment receipt. And guys, this could be months, uh, sometimes days, sometimes weeks uh, after you've gotten your apartment. Now, once that's all done, now you can take possession of your brand new condo. But if you have any questions, let me know in the comments.